Hi, I'd like to do another mustache video uh, this year. Uh, this will be a follow-up to the one I did last year. Uh, last year's was bigger and bushier. This one's a lot more um, trimmed up and uh, tidier, I think. Uh, and I'd like to do the video. I think it'll be a good follow-up and you can see the difference between uh, this one and the last one. So, um, enjoy. So, uh, I'm going to begin this video uh, I'm going to begin, this is the morning, I haven't had my morning shower yet, and you can see that the wax in my mustache is still fairly styled from when I would have done it up yesterday. The wax will stay in the mustache, it doesn't, um, it, it doesn't come out, you really have to wash it out with a, with a washcloth to get it out. So I'm going to uh, have a bit of a chat here, and then I'll go have my shower, and then I'll come back to the mustache. So you can see that it is a bit curved, uh, these are, are fairly waxed up points. The other thing you can see that's different in this mustache than the one I had last year is I really came in from the corner of my mouth. Last year I just let it all come out and the mustache was much wider. It was like this. Where this year, once I started to uh, cut out the connectors, um, I got in with a beard trimmer, a very fine beard trimmer, and actually came in about, uh, you know, maybe a centimeter or a finger width from the corner of my mouth. So if I do this, you can see there's no hair there at all. And in fact, when I'm in the shower and I'm shaving, you actually come in and you take a blade and you come all the way back in there, so you really isolate that mustache. Um, very important this year, I'm also keeping the top of the lip very, very clean. I always want to see the top of the lip. And I've also come a lot narrower right here, so when I'm in the shower with a blade also, I'm, I'm cutting all around this, so I really went for a, for a narrow, a narrow, and kept the long curls on the end. Uh, so you can take a beard trimmer. I take a beard trimmer right through here, and I keep this hair actually very, uh, very short. And then um, you can take that beard trimmer, and sometimes you can come back up here, and if, if there's any stray hairs, you can really tidy that up. And don't worry about cutting off too much because it'll, it'll, it's going to come back. Um, what you want to avoid doing is taking out the, the big, the big curl that you've been working on. You don't want to be. Um, uh, taken that out. You, you want to keep those hairs. So about a month or two ago, um, or, or once you, you start getting long, you really decide this is the, these are going to be the hairs that are going to come with me for the curls and everything else I'm going to be getting rid of. So um, I'm going to go have a shower now. I'm going to uh, get out that beard trimmer and do a bit of work. And then uh, I'll come back and do the style and, and, and show you how that works. It's real handy if you have a beard trimmer like mine and you can adjust. You have a, I have a piece that's probably an inch wide that's good for like taking uh, big cuts like beards and stuff. And then I can replace it with one about a quarter of an inch for the real detailed stuff around the mustache. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, here I am. I'm out of my shower, so I cleaned up in there. I spent a bit of time with the beard trimmer. You can see the um, top of my lip is cleaned up here and tidied up here and I cut back all this here with blades with the blade so you can see now I really got this kind of uncontrolled mustache here that's it's in your mouth it's it's and it just looks crappy that's why you guys gotta wax that to clean that up so the two products for my last video is a uh, Cedar Hills farm really good mustache wax made out of Kansas I found them online mustachewax.com. I got a soft and a stiff. I got these two tins and little pocket sizes, like the size of a Blistex, for like ten bucks. It was a great deal. I used the soft for a while, and that will—it'll uh, give a nice look, and it will—it it will look really uh, kind of sheen. But it will—it—it uh, it, it needs to be freshened up. It'll start coming apart later on in the day. If you want to set your mustache once for the day, <coughs> it'll be uh, stiff is, is the way to go. This is the stiff wax here, and it is a uh, pretty stiff stuff. The best way to get it on is to scratch it with the back of your fingernail and get a little piece on your fingernail like so. That might even be a bit much. You know, you get some wax here under your fingernail. Uh, sometimes I have been using a, I've been using a cigarette lighter or a candle to uh, heat it up first, but l lately I've been putting it on a bit cold. You just do it with your fingers. And pull it through. You don't really have to uh, to brush the stiff through. 
and you can almost just squeeze it on. If you just squeeze it and pull it ever so slightly, don't be pulling your uh, your mustache out. If you want it to get in good there, get it in at the base, like in here. Now whether you're trying to go for a straight or go for a curl, I'm kind of indifferent sometimes. Depends on the mood I'm in. This can actually come out. I saw a sergeant major once in the army and his mustache was all like that. I don't know if I'll ever get that far. But you can put a bit of a curl in it to try to to try to have it the same on both sides. So you can get those curled up. It's going to take a while and figure out what's best. But once they get long, like this is getting a long mustache, this is this is like a five month mustache on me. Um, the longer it gets, it, it's, it, it's harder to um, keep those ends un under control. So that might be another reason the stiff wax is working. And I had been in the habit of twisting them forward, rolling and twisting, and uh, that wasn't working because like imagine a bunch of copper wire that you're twisting together. Uh, they're going to come untwisted at the ends. So what I'm trying to do now is just try to keep the hairs straight but stuck together with the wax. This um this isn't bad for the day. This isn't bad for the day. So here's the here's the, the my mustache I'll be wearing today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave comments if you like it. I don't know how much longer I'm going to do this mustache. Maybe if I get a full curl. But uh, here I am, all set for the day. And uh, I'll carry a little tube of that wax in my pocket. And maybe near the end of the day I might just have to give it a give it a spice. But don't spend too much time playing with it, or that wax will come out a bit in your fingers. Alright guys, have a great day and uh, enjoy playing with your mustaches. Cheers.